This is how the show starts. Cheers, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the NBA SA show. Welcome to the episode. What up, 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 what up? We made it to five episodes, like a whole five episodes. One end. Yo. It's like a Are ring. It's like a ring, except not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanos. Doing? Dates? Week one of the okay. new talks. Under the belt, it's going all right. Ah, that's good. Going liquor? I have more time than I thought I would have. <laughs> be careful, yeah. be, be careful what you what you wish for right now, sir. I'm yeah. not wishing for nuts, brother. I'm not wishing for nuts. <laughs> <laughs> so, me, you meetings upon meetings upon meetings. I would that's love to tell you that I can see the end of the year, but I can't, <laughs> so I may as well. <laughs> Throw myself into basketball. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How many games do you guys watch a week? I try to watch one a night and then maybe two or three during the day. Mm. To me, do you get time? I, I think I need to plead the fifth that doesn't exist here. Right? Because, because one, I clearly don't watch as much as Kirk. And two, <laughs> I don't want that to devalue my opinion. <laughs> oh, that's a good question. <laughs> Just this, okay. Okay. Like so many things in life, it's not about quantity. It's about quality. Uh, yes. It's the amount of Dallas games you watch. That's it. No. That's all you need to know. <laughs> yeah. That's actually why this season, I chose to follow... Uh, two teams, rather, one in the West and one in the East. So at least I have a reason to watch Eastern Conference games and Western Conference games. Otherwise, I'll like I'll just watch one team, and then you never get to really see a spread of teams. Was that was that a strategic choice, or was it just that there were two bandwagons that you couldn't choose between? <laughs> no, I just <laughs> like. If you remember in our group, I just liked. Chicago. I like the Rosen. I fucking like Ball. I like Alex Caruso. I just grand them and I thought they would be hot. And Subrachtiva. Subrachtiva. He's planning his next bandwagon, man. He's the current bandwagon that he's done so far. Hmm. A man can't do anything, man. I can't even pick a random <laughs> Eastern Conference team for always to say this nigga just bandwagon me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bandwagon Zach Levine. Okay. That sounds very inappropriate. <laughs> yeah, but it's random and it's all right. It's all right. I'm going to get a Levine t shirt. Do it. With his face on it or a vest with his name on it? No, no, no. Vest, like vest, it's someone's one. <laughs> 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 like a tiny Boston jersey. Yo. Yo. That's rude. Do you think somebody will pay you to take it from them? Oh. Like a Kyrie fan who take it from you. So, you know, interesting about Kyrie is, I don't know if you guys read that article about the... Uh, um, the Kobe's. Um, yeah. So the Kobe's were the most popular shoe even before Kobe died. They were the most popular shoe worn by NBA players. Um, then after he died, it just spiked people started wearing them. Um, I think his wife's name is Vanessa. They severed ties with Nike, so Kobe's are no more. Everybody's asking for Kobe's. Can't get Kobe's. The shoe that is closest to the Kobe is the Kyrie. <laughs> now everybody's pulling in Kyrie's because they can't find Kobe. And Kyrie's taking your under. <laughs> oh, my God. All those niggas wearing my shoes. <laughs> Fuck you, vaccine. Fuck you, vaccine. <laughs> These niggas behind me. 
The guy is not playing this year. <laughs> He's making it's the money that he lost of half of his salary potentially. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> what is it? Is he losing salary? Must be. I'm sure he is. Must be. Hmm. If he had to come, he would have at least played half a season and not play at home. Now he's not even playing. Yeah, because they were like, now nah, you can't play. You if can't play. Yeah. Uh, or in. Yeah. Or, or out. Which is right. right. Yes. I'll do the yeah. same thing. No sure. work, no pay. Hmm. Type of words. Yeah. So All yeah, right. So I see the Simmons thing is um, taking another turn because he's being assessed by fully approved doctors now. <laughs> so, so if you had to your gut feel, they going like how many in how many words are they going to be able to say? He's talking either he's bang. We don't smack. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why don't they you, need to follow, you need to follow the legal route. The bottom line is he has to play if he wants to get traded. Mm. Well, actually, he does need to play. Fully needs him to play in order for them to get value. Mm. Yeah. So he does need to play. You, you'll go anywhere, really. <laughs> Would he, I'd send him to like uh, what's a cut team like Mavs or something <laughs> <laughs> sorry Tim no, that's, that is a, that's a cut you'll take him you'll take him yeah <laughs> no doubt <laughs> yeah. the, if the price is right yeah true Jinx I want to speak about something interesting this evening, uh, which is basketball related, but more basketball career related. I want to talk about this guy. James, he is 26 years old. He's won his first NBA championship in his eighth year of basketball in the NBA. He has won every single individual award you can win regular season MVP, finals MVP, all-star MVP, even won defensive player of the year. And the only one he hasn't won is the sixth man of the year, which we all know. He'll probably win like at the end of his career, maybe. What do we predict Giannis will end up with? So you know how the GOAT debate always goes on what you've achieved, what you've what we predict you still will achieve with Giannis being so dominant and has already pocketed everything you could possibly pocket individually, where do we see him end up? The floor is yours, fellas. Criteria. Is this what do we think the general consensus is going to be? Then he must always come with cut. He must always come with technical. Why does he come with technical? D B A P. D B A P. Proper D B A P. Look at I'll 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 answer you with because I have an answer to you. Okay, I'll answer your question. Thank you. As I will. Please can be to ask me. Yes. 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 <laughs> so, Yanis Yanis strikes me as a person that isn't chasing accolades. He just balls for the love of ball, and <clears throat> I I don't think he'll follow the LeBron route of trying to manufacture as many championships as he can. I think he'll be loyal to I think he'll be loyal to um, Milwaukee. He'll stay there. He'll enjoy his he'll enjoy his basketball. He'll try to do as much as he can. He'll look out for his family. He'll look, he'll look out for those close to him. And wherever he lands, he lands. That's just the vibe that I get from him. 
And that being said, I don't think you'll win more than three titles. Not in, the, not in today's environment where super teams happen every year and people hustle to get onto mega teams and stuff. I, I don't see him doing that. He'll stay at Milwaukee and try to attract as much um, talent as possible. But after what he said, you look like a pussy if he goes and chases titles with super teams and things. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so that's my vibe. I don't think he'll win more than three. And it hasn't won the scoring title yet, so maybe we'll go after that. Aha. Uh-huh. He could win that. He yeah. could win that. If he wanted. He could just decide. Yeah. That's yeah. easy. <laughs> Tell me your thoughts. Before I give you your thoughts. Can I just let the dog out there? I don't know if you can hear this fucking dog walking ooh, in the background. Ooh, ooh. Tick, 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 tick. So the answer to that question will be Timmy. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. oh, my, my screen is frozen again, so let me just reset this quickly. <laughs> what the fuck just happened now? <laughs> You froze his screen. Because my dog made a noise. <laughs> you know? No, you no, you're, not, you're not frozen, but, but we can't hear you. No, man. Testing, testing. <laughs> you had me. You had me. <laughs> I, you know what's funny though is I would really believe it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my bad. Tell me your thoughts, pal. Cool. Look, actually, I, I think a, a lot of what Katie said makes a lot of sense. Um, maybe just one thing. I think that that at, at when everything's said and done, I think you'll be widely regarded as the third best player of all time. Um, sure. and, and interestingly, I, I think that 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 there are probably two reasons why he potentially wouldn't be more. I think Kirk made a great point around. I don't think he's going to win as many titles as as MJ and and and, and LeBron, right? Partially because of he's not going to go and chase them, uh, partially because of the nature, right? So I think that's one reason. I think the other reason is I'm not sure because a lot of this is driven by the media, right? Um, and and I've got a I've got a I mean I I love the, the the media that comes out for the NBA, right? But it is very pro American. Um, and and it treats Europeans as 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 nice, or the rest of the world is sort of nice and cute, right? But not really taken as seriously. I mean, even if you take a look at Jokic's MVP season last year, right? Um, and 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 the sl- the slander, the slander that they had, right? Saying, oh, it was the worst MVP ever, right? Which is ridiculous, yeah. Um, and I think that that unfortunately, the, the little bit of xenophobic nature is, is is probably going to mean that you won't get the public sentiment or the media sentiment, right, to go all the way. And I think I, I think third greatest ever, which is a which I actually think is, a, is is a big deal, right? But I just I suspect that he's going to be ranked higher than, for example, KD at the end of the day, right? Because because uh, KD would would have this argument that he had to go to to join a super team. And then you had to go and create another super team somewhere else. Um, um, and so that's why I think that he's, he's going to end up number three. You do make a good point about the xenophobic nature of just the um, Americans' approach to foreign superstars. I mean, I started this conversation in our, in our channel before um, where people were saying he's got so many flaws in his game and he was on a championship run <laughs> and people were dogging him all the time like he can't do this he can't do that he fucking scored 15 in this 
a title closing game and you want to talk shit about the bra. I'm like, you crazy. <laughs> well, it, it's, it, it also, that's like, that's the American culture. Mm. You know? America first. Yeah. Like America it's, great again. It's hard. It was hard for white America to admit that black people were better than them at basketball. Imagine how hard it must be to admit that another country could be better than them. Another country's black person is better than them. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd argue, and I can't think of the names, the names of the numbers right now. But I think if you said, okay, cool, five people from the rest of the world and five, five Americans, right? Or if you had to rank them, play, play for player, right? I think probably seven of seven of the top 10 would be would be players from the rest of the world so 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 so, so, so when you if you have to do those one for one trades right um, okay maybe maybe six and, and again it's only because I couldn't think but but if we had to start off with players and so who would you trade one for one who would say no right who would rank in, in in terms of higher than the other I'm, I'm I'm certain at least six potentially seven of them would, would be would be European players. And the, and the obvious ones just off the top of head was is, is Jokic, Giannis, Doncic, right? All of those, very few people would you who, in fact, other than KD, it'd be unlikely that you choose anybody else over them. And you're chucking in bead. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so yeah. if you just look at if you just look at the just a simple thing as the, the fantasy rankings. Mm-hmm. The top yeah. three of the top oh, five man. players are foreign. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, a, it's a world wow. game. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> and somewhere in the this is one from Canada. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Anyway, anyway. Uh, but in a nutshell, it sounds like you guys think Giannis will be Reggie Miller with a ring. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm laughing. Where, where, where are you going with this? <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to wrap it up. <laughs> What do you think, what, do you think what, uh, what do you think? How many rings do you think? How many rings do you think Giannis will win? I think I think he has one or two in him because I reckon um, stars will follow him. Milwaukee's not really a city to live in, but stars will follow him because he could give you a ring. He'd get you close. He'd get you close. And with with one or two little pieces, he's proven that he can get you to the chip. So I think he might have one or two. Lucky Lekker seasons where he wins the scoring champion scoring title and they go off to win it. Um, and I agree with you, I reckon he stays at Milwaukee for the rest of his career. I also don't see Milwaukee trading him unless some freak of nature thing happens. Um, I don't, and I do, I do think, yeah, so I don't think those two things happen at the same time. So I think the only chance that he gets the scoring title is if he doesn't have great people in his team because he's competitive and then he's just going to do it himself. If, if you're saying he might have a couple of lucky seasons because you get great plays with him, I don't think he cares about the scoring title, right? And therefore, it'll be fine for everybody to be scoring. So, so I don't think he gets great people to come and then he gets a scoring title. He gets a scoring title if they're bad. Yeah. Do, do. I think, I think he gets the scoring title and wins it but because he has player two and player three who are going to average 26 and 19. In the same I, think, I think you were drunk. <laughs> <laughs> if you can say ridiculous That's things, I, I can say ridiculous things. <laughs> yes. You know what else I think is... I don't know how I feel about Anthony Davis being in the top 75 of all time. Why? I don't know. But for some reason, somebody once said 
that Kyrie Irving isn't a great player because all he did was make one great shot, which got him a title. Everything else that he did is mediocre. So then I went, Anthony Davis, same situation. And then he I was like, make one great shot. <laughs> Not Kyrie, Anthony Davis didn't even make one great shot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm confused there. I'm confused. <laughs> I saw that look on your face. Yeah, we could tell. Yeah. We could tell. <laughs> I, I started to see something. I was like, nah, it doesn't. It doesn't. I was like, I'm sure Kyrie made a good shot. Sure. <laughs> like, this post is made of that shot. <laughs> But anyway, so that got me thinking, what do you guys think? Tim, Kirk, am I onto something? Or Wesley, you're being stupid. He's definitely in the all-time 75. All-time 75 for what? For what? For what? For who? <laughs> for who? Wes, this might be the first time. It's been five weeks. Five long weeks. It's the first time I agree with you, Wes. Yeah. You are 100% right. You are 100% right. No doubt. There's no reason. There's no reason. I, I'm not going to back it up. Just Wes is right. Why? He's right. I think Davis is not that good. Yeah, okay. He's talented. He's big. He, he's, a, he's, a, he's a great player. He's a great player. You know why Timmy thinks this? Because Timmy has him on his fantasy team and he's doing four call for him. And I can tell you how bad he is. I can tell you. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Bro, fantasy reveals all my friends. <laughs> you so, you agree with me? Yes. Um, so I have an issue with active players being added to this list. Because... Okay. Because the funny thing happens, once they get added to this list, they get judged according to this list. And it's not, I don't think it's fair to, to include a person still trying to, you know, forge their way. I think you um, can add, if you, if, if you think of active players, I would go <clears throat> to absolute maximum three that are no doubt you'll say these guys deserve to be on that list. I'd say one is LeBron, no doubt, he deserves to be on that list. The other is yeah. Steph, I think Steph deserves to be on that list. He's changed yeah. the game. And at the stretch, I would go KD at this stage. But not, mm. I, I'm even doubtful about KD. Um, I don't think he's there yet. I mean, he's doing, mm. he's done, he's, he's scored well throughout his career. Um, but then there are lots of players that have scored well in the NBA. So, actually, while you're mentioning that, did Giannis make the list? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. So yeah, so you, did, like, you didn't say that very convincingly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd say with confidence, two active players. Potentially three, but I wouldn't go beyond that. I would say when it's all said and done, I would say Russ deserves to be on the list because the amount of triple doubles he set in his career is unprecedented. Um, yeah, well, it's not unprecedented. There are things what one other person has done it, right? The average triple double in a season. I think Oscar did, yeah. but 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 I don't yeah. think yeah. So I mean, so on that alone, he deserves a nod. Um, purely because of the way he played, but there's so many flaws in his game. Currently, putting him on, if you put him on a list, he's getting shot down every single week. So, um, so yeah, so like I said, two players max deserve to be on that list. Two, two active players max deserve to be on that list. Mm. Cool. Timing, recency bias, all human yeah. flaws. Yeah. Yeah. But. Yeah. But even when it's said and done, maybe maybe that I'm gonna extend your question, Wes. Right? When it's all said and done, not convinced that AD is gonna make it or should make it in any event. Right. Um, 
and, and, and if his career ended now, which on any given night, it looks like it could, right? Um, <laughs> I spent a lot of fantasy money on this guy. <laughs> yeah, you did. You did. <laughs> <laughs> on any given time, like then, then, then you look back at the career and, and how diff- he's Yao Ming with a ring. Yeah. Exactly. So what? Great. That's a great cut over there in the edit. Sorry, Kurt. <laughs> okay, for the edit, let me just talk about this. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Further to that. So he plays power forward. Yeah. If you call him a power forward. Right? How many power forwards deserve to be on that list? Mm. Cool. Timing, recency bias, all human yeah. force. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. but even when it's said and done, maybe maybe that I'm gonna extend your question, Wes. Right? When it's all mm. said and done, I'm not convinced that AD is gonna make it or should make it in any event. Right? Um and, and, and if his career ended now, which on any given night it looks like it could. Right. Um, <laughs> I spent a lot of fantasy money on this guy. <laughs> yeah, you did. You did. <laughs> <laughs> on any given time, like then, then, then you look back at the career and, and how diff- he's Yao Ming with a ring. Yeah. I had, to, I had to reset, man. And I figured if it goes black, it's fine. Kirk can just talk. I mean, if you look at, if you look at, uh, Power forwards is Jared, is Tim Duncan, Carl Malone, Charles Barkley, the AD. Sheer of the list is endless. And so actually, let's, let, let's, let's talk about a couple of those guys who didn't win titles, right? So let's talk yeah. about Charles Barkley. I love Charles Barkley, right? And, and he, I think he was unlucky. He was unlucky to play in the Jordan era, yeah. right? Chain, okay, um, and and then it was either part Jordan, part larger one, part um, the Spurs, right? Just unlucky for the dude. But every one of the teams that he was on, he was the absolute focal point. He was the best player. He was this. I remember watching. It was fun to watch him, right? He was yes. he, he was this force, right? Yeah. And maybe more importantly, whether his teams were good or not, so whether there was talent or, or not around him. His teams were always good. They always won. Even Dirk. I mean, Dirk took a ragtag bunch all the way, right? And the other years where they were terrible. But for like a decade, they scored, they, they finished the season on 50 wins. Yeah. Even when Anthony Davis had some talent on the Pelicans, right? They went nowhere. Like nowhere, nowhere. Yeah. yeah? Um, <laughs> and I think that, like, you don't have to win everything to be great for me. You really don't. Right, um, but when you are when you don't have LeBron and you are terrible, and then you have LeBron and then you win once, like I'm not sure that's enough for me. And that's not saying he isn't talented. That's not saying he isn't great, wonderful scorer, great defender, awesome passer. Never on the court, and, and generally, if, if you don't have lots of support, your teams don't win. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I think generally, if you make that list, you are the type of person that. Wills your team to an extra 15 wins a season and one series in a in a playoffs. You know, you have that ability to lift your team and carry them over the line. Maybe he doesn't strike me as that, but he's like, no. we'll win despite you. No. <laughs> exactly. So I mean, yeah. interestingly, you put AD, right? And, and look, obviously I'm biasing this one, but if you swapped AD for, for Luca. Right, that math team is not even making the playoffs. No, they're going nowhere. No, yeah, that's a great example. Mm. Yeah, I agree. With basically, you agree. basically, basically, you <laughs> can swap Luca with anybody, and that math team is going nowhere. <laughs> no, in no fairness, that is true. In fairness, in fairness, if you swap that math team with like a James Harden. Or, or KD, I, I think I think they'd go far. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's also position based. You can't trade eighty for Luca. Yeah, then it's a different Mavs team. Oh man, this is not the most tough one. Make believe now, man. I'm gonna be like them. I'm gonna be like them. You mean? <laughs> Just so we get it straight, like we're talking about purple, or are we talking about like, like purple. <laughs> Like purple, purple. <laughs> Don't be up. Uh, <laughs> I found this on cue. On cue. <laughs> Just let it go. Just let it go. Yeah. Right. Gents, let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, hashtag make your pick. This week. Ooh. I told you I was going to go small forwards, but then I thought to myself, what if you go prepare before the time and go and research? Because so we do. My mind. Because we do. So I changed my mind. Tonight, we are picking centers. What if we thought you were going to do that? Yeah. You didn't. You're too busy, <laughs> both of you. <laughs> okay. Player number one. I thought I would mix it up tonight. Because if I keep to the same categories, it might just become boring. Okay. Play number one. 19 seasons. Okay. He averaged 24 points a game. 11 rebounds, 2 assists. 24, 11, and 2. And he was at 15 All-Star games. Okay. Coach, I don't want him. You have him. <laughs> I think I think I think he I think he fathers illegitimate children and 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 is a woman beater. <laughs> and and he comes wow. from and <laughs> wow. Yeah. wow. No, I want I want nothing to do with him. I want the other guy. We, it doesn't matter who you give me, give me the other guy. But if Kirk also wants the other guy beginning to have to rock paper scissors. Actually, you but no, you both can't pick the same guy. No, we can't. We can't. But I'm not even. I'm not even last week we could. I don't. I don't even know who the other guy is. I want the other guy on on, <laughs> on because because I think I know what that first one is, and I could be wrong, right? Um, and it sounds great, right? Twenty four points, eleven rebounds over nineteen seasons. Damn. But I don't want him. Okay, here's the next guy. Uh, nineteen seasons. Nineteen, eleven, and three. 19, 11, and 3. But this guy won two MVPs and three finals MVPs. You know what? Did you say power forwards or centers? Centers. Centers. Yes. I take my argument back. I take my argument back of, of why I didn't want the first guy, but I still want the second guy. I also I want to say, well, I must pick first. So. Okay, you can pick first. Okay, you can pick first. <laughs> You could be first. I want the first guy, Katie. I want the first guy. Wait, I'm Googling. We can see. <laughs> Give me the second guy. Okay. Hold on. And, and so hold on. Uh, Just remember. So 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 I've got who's who's in your squad right now? Reggie oh, and Reggie and, and Steph. You got Reggie and Steph. And I got yeah. AI. And Ray Allen. Yeah. No? Okay. Yeah. Give me my piece at Fitz. Who have I got, Wiz? Tell me who you're taking, player? No, I'm taking... Uh, he's taking player two, so I've got player one. Okay. So I changed up the rules as well. <laughs> one of you got a power <laughs> forward. One of you got a power forward. And one of you got a center. I mean, you can't do that. Yes, I can. <laughs> I make the rules. <laughs> I I'm don't want alone. I don't want to come alone. Come alone, I'm going to put to my team. So I knew you guys would do something like this. And I figured, how do I change this up? <laughs> player one. <laughs> something like what? You said Jews, so we chose. <laughs> player one. Did I get Duncan? Two. I got Duncan. And Tim. What? Tim. Timmy, you get player one, 
Okay. You get Sheck. You get Sheck. Nice. Nice. I get early Sheck, uh-huh. not late Sheck, right? Eh? I get Sheck in his prime. <laughs> Whatever player you pick, you get them in their prime. Why? Look, you get Tim Duncan. I knew I got Tim Duncan, brother. The big fundamental. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Kurt, your team is Steph Curry, Reggie Miller, and Tim Duncan. Brah, you can't compete with that. Your junk, your dogs. Your junk, your dogs. Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson. Bang! <laughs> Ray Allen. <laughs> and Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> I'm not sure what's okay. happened there, but but all that all that all that freezing <laughs> was amazing. Speak volume. Am I so freezing? <laughs> More I think than freezing, but but, <laughs> but um I like my team, my team Murio team. Maybe not on the court, but certainly off the court. <laughs> <laughs> Look, my team is not going to get a lot of highlight reels besides some logo threes. But other than that, <laughs> your team is going to get all the highlights. But my team is going to win the game. <laughs> your team doesn't play defense. <laughs> What are you talking about? Who played Tim Duncan? And that's it. Who are we in the play zone? Reggie was a dog. <laughs> We can play zone because you got football shooting. We play a box in one with, with not even Ray is a good fucking consistent. <laughs> Alan Iverson's gonna turn Steph Curry into Tyron Lou. <laughs> we're gonna play. We're gonna play five in the key. We can shoot all day. <laughs> if you get Curry, if you get Curry in his in his prime, right? He's gonna have ankle issues again. Because I don't know how he's going to keep up with Alan Iverson. (laughs) (laughs) You can't shoot a logo if you don't have ankles. (laughs) That's that's why Rage is going to mark Alan Iverson. (laughs) (laughs) With spit in his face. (laughs) Okay, okay, okay. Next week, we reveal player four. Will you choose... Another you, you're going to give us a coach now. You're going you're gonna to tell us it was actually a coach. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to pull it dirty. He's going to be like, Coach oh. Bud. Coach Bud is going to have one. It's going to be a, a WNBA sixth player of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Get a riff. I'll give you a riff. <laughs> I'm going to make a video. I'm going to make a video. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Owens, we made a deal with the Chicago Bulls. Yep. I said they are going to be 14 and 5. Timmy, you said they're going to be 8 and 11. Kirk, you said 12 and 7. It's looking very good for Kirk. But you you got you in with an outside shot because if you look at the remaining games, I mean they could they could beat pretty much all of those teams except Golden State at this point. Jimmy, your thoughts? I my thoughts are when is this little wager gonna come to an end? Because it's it's painfully <laughs> obvious that I that I was very wrong. <laughs> That's the worst. That's the worst you get a prediction. And you see how wrong you are regularly. <laughs> Literally the next game. The next game it was obvious. Okay, cool, I was wrong. And we're done. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine. I think I think the the next trip, I mean they're doing a West Coast trip now. It's rough. They're playing the Clippers, the Lakers, Golden State. 
It's rough. What also about for me, what about the Clippers and the Lakers are rough at the moment? <laughs> it's you, just it's only Golden State that they're going to sit that they're going to sit for. No, but you guys are forgetting. It's hard to play away there. It's hard. No, that's not what the Lakers and the Clippers records is. <laughs> Only. <laughs> I, think, I think the Bulls shock everybody and beat Golden State. I really do. Okay. Is it bit? Yes, yeah, wait, actually, that's a good point. Here's my opportunity to, to at least break out even break yeah. even here. <laughs> I agree with I agree with Kirk Wes. I'm taking focal bits, I'm sitting pretty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Wes, I'll do that. What's up? I missed it now. Just bloody internet. Yeah. So what clearly, happened? clearly I'm donating. Clearly, I'm already donating. Is it a okay, 12 pack? So Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm donating a 12 pack currently to the Kirk household, right? Because okay. I'm gonna be, I'm clearly gonna be wrong with my my bulls, whatever, whatever this the, the number of games your prediction, yeah. right? Unless they win, unless they beat Golden State and then lose another. <laughs> then, <laughs> right? So, 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 so then, then I'll go fine. You are very confident that the bulls are gonna beat. The Warriors. I will bet you yeah. a 12 pack on just that one game. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. You always. What about nah. your bold prediction? Yeah, yeah. Um, bold so you're not prediction. actually, you're not actually that strong. Huh? You're not actually that strong. Yeah. What sort of bandwagon follow are you? It was <laughs> easy. I'm trying to explain why. So I, I'll make the prediction, but I won't put money on it because I'm not that deep yet. Uh, okay, is it is it is it is it the magnitude? Right? Maybe not a 12 pack. Yes. 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 Okay. What about a six pack? I mean a six pack. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah six pack? Pack. I'm be a, a castle free. That no, 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 no. Kirk, you see the six pack. <laughs> Okay, cool. You're gonna, we're gonna do a six pack. We'll do a six, one six pack. We'll do one you know six why? pack on this. Okay. That's me. That's me. That's me. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. nice, nice. I've officially okay, off my cost now to Kirk. <laughs> or, or, or you've gone up. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm always the optimist now. I'm always the optimist. <laughs> Gamble responsibly. Gamble responsibly, Tim. Gamble responsibly. I watched... <laughs> I watched them play and they're so exciting to watch, right? And when they go on good runs, they do really well. And when they defend well, like they look like a team that is are so hard to score on. But they still, there are moments when they play for spurts of five minutes and you're like, Yara, what's going on here? <laughs> what's going on here? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's in those moments that I think you put curry in the equation, then it's game over, Summer. Game over. But look, <clears throat> Golden State, they have those very same tendencies. Eh? Yeah, I, know. <laughs> they, I, know, I know. I know. The problem is, Golden State can turn it around in three minutes. <laughs> they yeah. can go from down 17 to up 20 in or half a quarter. <laughs> yeah. Six minutes. Six um, minutes. Game I'm, over. I watched that fully game, the Bulls fully game, mm. and fully were understaffed. They, they had nobody. I think they played like with seven people. Yeah. And the Bulls looked so disinterested and just so flat. Um, I think they do have a tendency. I, I suppose it's still learning to play as the favorite. Yeah. That, that, yeah. It's, it's not easy to play as the favorite. To play when you're expected to win every game, it's very difficult. So... Yeah. They a new team. They're still learning how to how to be successful, and mm -hmm. I think at this stage they're just riding the wave. I mean, I guess 
they hang their hat on solid defense. They've got a bunch of, which is weird because in the league, you look at those players and they're not renowned for their defense. <laughs> and yet, they are a scrappy team that, that gets off the, that, that gets off the team. So, yeah, so I think they still have a way to go to, to get to that point where they can come out and, and they seem to pick themselves up for the big games, which is weird. When they are when they sort of not expected to win the game, the games that they usually aren't meant to win, they come out and they play those games. But the games that they expected to win, they look a bit mm, like a Golden State game, like a Golden State game. Yeah, they're going there with a lot of momentum, right? Yeah, and you'd probably feel in that locker room like, nah, I'm a picky. We can we can do this, and somebody must just on the court click. Someone must just click. Like a Alonzo Ball takes fire, or a the Ro- Rosen takes fire. I mean, it, it's got like a ripple effect. Then all of a sudden, they play hard the basketball. Yeah, you're right. Do you want to up it to twelve? <laughs> <laughs> you must tell me now. Otherwise, otherwise we step back again. Will, otherwise, back to six. I yeah, make, yeah, yeah. I will yeah. make bold predictions. After this West Coast trip, then I'll be able to make bold predictions. Then, then we'll know what they really like. Okay, so you, you already made a bold prediction that you owe Kirk beer for. So I don't understand yeah. after this trip. <laughs> <laughs> so in order for them to beat Golden State, they need to win three in a row. And they haven't won three in a row since the opening three weeks of the season. Uh, it's tough. It's tough, yeah. You can't you can't take that six pack back, no? Just... <laughs> <laughs> On a serious note, though, right? I've started watching so, it a little bit more now, right? Out of respect, the one thing I I really have enjoyed, right? See where your ears are going. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I might have derived some joy from buying this for somebody else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the thing I've enjoyed most is Lonzo Ball and the fact that he looks like a really young, fast Kyle Lowry. He does all of those little things in between. He's a connector. He doesn't need to score. He pushes the ball. He hits people. The little extra pass. I, I really, I really enjoy that. Um, I, I got a lot of, res- I got a lot of respect for that. Yeah, can't, can't agree more. And like I said a couple of weeks ago, like DeRozan, having DeRozan is such a luxury because you genuinely have a brother that can close a game. He can close a game. Yeah. You could, you could, be, you could be four points up with two minutes to go and be like, Kiki, every position we're going to DeRozan. I believe you can take your home. You can take your home with two minutes left. Agreed. As long as you don't need a three. <laughs> <laughs> as long as, I as, long as, as long you don't need a three. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Listen, I've got, I got a question though, right? Because now, now that we're talking about ball, now we're talking about the bulls, right? You, They took... Ball out of a Pelicans team and they dropped him into the Chicago team. The one is an absolute winning basketball team, right? Great culture, doing lots of good things. The other one is a dog, rat team, right? But from a talent perspective, right? If we had to start this from the beginning, just, just from the beginning of the season, from a straight talent perspective, I mean, I could make an argument that the Pelicans w- were in many instances in a better position. Right, yeah. with no revisionist history, right? What is and so if you're both saying yes, what does that then say about Brandon Ingram and Zion Williamson? Just about boss about their basketball players, because arguably they are probably two of the more talented in in both rosters, right? And they had ball, right? And they had a pair others, right? But they couldn't do any winning. Are they just massively overrated then? Coaching. I mean, they've had like six coaches. One of them is going to be decent. 
So, isn't it because let me see. Let me check something. This, this, so I, I know so many fans. Zion, Zion <laughs> hasn't played this season yet. I mean, he's out injured, and Ingram has been out. I don't know if he's been out all season as well, or if he's just recently injured. But they're not at full strength by any stretch of the imagination. My my, um, my critique on them isn't the season at all, though, right? My critique is when they were around and they were with Lonzo, they were terrible. Oh, no, Lonzo like moves to a different team. That arguably, maybe not more talented, but probably not less talented, maybe on par from a talent perspective, all of a sudden, they are winning a lot. Right? And then going, okay, cool, what is the difference between the two? Right? Is it talent? And you go, mm, probably not. And then you go, well, if it isn't, right, does that just mean that, that, that your Zions and your Ingrams are stupidly overrated? Because mm. how else could you explain that? And I know you said the coaching, but you know that the reality is to become an NBA coach, right? You can't be cack. You can't be that. <laughs> right? Like, yeah. like, you don't get there by luck. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll go as far as to say that Holly Donovan is not the greatest coach. <laughs> well, I mean, interestingly, right? He was great at college. Yeah. Right? Then he went to OKC. And, and, and look, you could argue about the rosters that, that, that he had, right? And now he's got another team that is, that is they don't, they're not necessarily all superstars, but they all seem to buy him. Yeah. Right? And look what he's doing there. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway. It's hard. It's hard to, it's hard. No, no, it's actually a very good question. And I don't think you can really answer it because there's so many factors. Like, um, the professional player, if you just think of a professional sportsman, right? In order to have a successful season, it's not just the basketball. It's where you act in your head. It's where you act in your career. It's where you act in your relationships at home. You know, there's so many factors that contribute to your basketball playing. So, like, <clears throat> you could argue that they hate living there. That plays a, a role, you know. Yeah. Like those living, are, those living, sounds living, like excuses. Living, 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 right? Those sounds like excuses more than more than anything else, right? So, so um, last, and, and, last, right? Mm -hmm. sorry, yes, sir. No, no, I was going to be obnoxious. I was, I was, I was going to, I was going to say Zion is almost as overrated as AD. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, good job. So, so they got rid of one overrated and they put in another. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> but, but in everybody's defense, last year Chicago and New Orleans had the exact same record. They both finished on 0.43 percent winning, so they were pretty much the same last year. And you take out a Paul, and you take out a Zion, and you take out an Ingram. Obviously, they're going to be they're going to look shit this year. Like we were talking about last year, they finished with the exact same record, so I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but, but you're right. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll take being right, but I'm going to start this island, right? And I'm going, I believe that Zion and Ingram are overrated. And until, I they, and, and, and until they start winning with something, right? That must, that must stay the same. I definitely think Ingram is overrated. I believe Zion can be good if he gets his weight and his fitness in check. How, I mean, if, you, has all to be if you substituted Zion's name for AD, what would change in your sentence? Other than wait, right? Like, it would be exactly the same. If he could play, he'd be amazing. Okay, but he, but he can't. No, but Zion, I think Zion has a different drive to AD. I don't think Zion is a, a quitter. I, 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 this, I, this is founded in absolutely nothing. I have no facts or research to back this up. It's just <laughs> of what I've seen of the draft. If you watch him play, 
he wants to win a game. He's not like a folk that will take positions off and just not smart to play. Fair enough. He's definitely never quit on a plate of food in his life. <laughs> <laughs> and I respect that. I respect that. I respect that. I'm not... <laughs> Especially if it's a pie. I'm not, thank you, I'm not throwing those stones. Because <laughs> you need to put that on your plate to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I throw my plate, but I'm not going to quit it. It's like... <laughs> that foil, the foil stick <laughs> It'd be great if you could get some pictures of Zion eating. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that being said, he got drafted number one, right? Mm. Even top mm. top pick, and he arrives at training camp overweight. In your rookie year, your first training camp in your NBA career, and. You're coming there needing to lose some of your chubbiness, right? Maybe. So, so, look, but, but you could go, like, there could be an argument. There could be an argument saying, listen, you, you, you've never been professional. You don't really know. You haven't been flanked by the right people. Fair enough. Yeah. How do you pitch up at your second training camp? Also <laughs> overweight. <laughs> now, that was... was you, you have now learned why that was a bad thing. <laughs> You then still do it. <laughs> That's the one I take issue with, not the first. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you come around the court and you're on the fast break, right? And, yeah. and there are two people ahead of you and there's no defender and you take the three, right? And you look over the coach and the coach is angry with you because you must, right? Yeah. But he keeps you in. Yeah. You do the same thing again. You must, must know. You must, must know that's an argument. Uh, <laughs> all I'm doing is, if that's not in, I'm just turning around and walking to the bed. <laughs> to the bed. Hey. No, to the shower. But if, to but the shower because you, you're, you're not playing a game. <laughs> if you play for Vikings, no. even if you make it, you still turn around. <laughs> <laughs> you actually, you're taking the shot. Knowing Kegi is my last. He's my last. <laughs> you are not shimmy. <laughs> and you call it the time out yourself. <laughs> it's worth it, coach. It's worth it. <laughs> Owens. Steph Curry. Door. MVP. If we stop the league right now, do we all unanimously agree he's the MVP right now? Yeah? Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's talk, let's talk stats. Let's talk stats. What is he averaging in comparison to everybody else? I think, uh, look, I think he's in top five. I think he's number three at the moment. He's not number one. I think Jazz won. He was two nights ago. With points. He was. But Steph, I, I suppose Steph's 50-point game maybe could, have, yeah. maybe could have turned things around. Look. And Steph's assist. I mean, I... you're talking stats. They're the only team that's only lost one game. He's the best player on the yeah. team. He's had a 50-point game. Right, he single-handedly. Like, I don't think anybody's making... If if the season was only eight games long, yeah? Um, then, yes, that's unanimous. Because Kirk's an authentic fan, and we are sensible. <laughs> I'm a what fan? Authentic fan. <laughs> I mean, the practical fans, they didn't even know what I said. <laughs> I didn't hear. I'm a what fan? <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
So I actually, I actually want to talk about somebody else in that Golden State team. I want to talk about GP 2.0. Yeah. Yes, yes. The gloves, son. But, uh, Will you step that, aside? <laughs> <laughs> Name the player. Name the player. That, but, uh, sure. And he's on a pogo stick, no? That play last night. Uh. Uh, Steph got the rebound from inside his three-point area. He, he threw a, a, a cross-court pass to Iggy. Iggy caught it in one hand. As he caught it, he threw it up for GP. And GP just took off. And he fucking almost did that. They fouled him, but fuck it. That was gather. They play such high octane basketball. It is fun to watch. But, uh, fun. Watching them, and that's why I told you guys in the channel when they are down at the half, <laughs> you must be because you know that third quarter is going to be bottom. They <laughs> should actually they should say we play first quarter, second quarter, Steph Curry, and the fourth quarter. <laughs> you change the name. Third quarter is game over. Once he had some of that Gatorade at half time, <laughs> it's over. <laughs> He's the caramong of the third quarter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he is. Yeah. To the other 31 teams, uh, yeah, he's the caramel of the third quarter. <laughs> That's Aina. That's Aina. <laughs> but I mean, they, they made such sneaky trades. That team, that team got so good in the offseason. I mean, I was talking about um, Avery Baddy, and they got rid of him, and Clearly, they got the win because they have a younger version of him in the glove. And that prize is just the rise of the they bought it. Yeah, so t- I think they got their balance right. So, so last year, they had guys coming back from injury. When, when the season started, they were investing a lot in Wiseman and his game time and the younger cats, right? They were blooding in Wiggins a little bit more. Right, and then at the end, end of the season, they leaned into the more experienced guys and the way that they play, and they know what they were doing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Some of the younger cats had, I suppose, a little bit more time to catch up, right? But more importantly, those younger guys are getting very few minutes, right? Like Kaminga's getting a, a few minutes. So Peyton, maybe off and on, is Wiseman's not playing at all, so they don't have to invest lots of minutes into potential high. Talented, uh, talented players and they're leaning into just the winning piece. And then winning solves everything, right? Yeah. Um, uh, and, and and so the young guys almost almost accept that. I, I do wonder what's going to happen when Clay returns and those Kaminga minutes are gone. Right? Because on the one hand, you need to do some play development. On the other hand, that's cool to win. Right? Um, Jordan Poole's great. Uh, and, and then this, this season's looked at as like, wow, we could be number one in the, in the West. Easily, yeah, and certainly, certainly on the cards is a is a home court first round. Yeah, um, yeah. But at at Steph's age, you always worry. He's one one ankle buster away. He, I mean, his 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 big luckiness is that Allen Iverson yeah. no longer playing. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe just a couple of things uh, like watching the Warriors games uh, the, the thing that I walked away with most uh, nothing to do with the offense or even, or even Gary Payton but uh, Curry's commitment on off-ball defense it's like nothing I've ever seen him do before this is it's in the first 10 games of the season and he's playing like it's the finals right I, I saw him running through screens around screens under screens, throwing elbows, like at, 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 like that for me is being been 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 more eye opening than anything else. I don't know. I can't remember who he was guarding, but that guy must have swore at him or his mother or something. 
right? Uh, because I mean, he was he was as locked down Steph Curry as as as, as possible, and he's bulked up a little bit more. So so maybe he can do do that a little bit more. I I'm actually not worried about his longevity, and his skill set is gonna is gonna translate. If Ray Allen could play for 17, 19 seasons, whatever it is, actually I think that I think I think Steph Curry is gonna eventually do it, and and those early career um, injury concerns with his ankles, right? Like, I, whatever it was, all those deadlifts that he did, it, I, I think for the large part, it, it, it solved it. Um, yeah. yeah. If Carmelo Anthony can transform himself into a shooter, Steph Curry is already a shooter. Right? <laughs> Carmelo Anthony is not playing any defense at the moment. Why must Steph Curry play defense? I'm sure there's a, a, a system that you can that can hide the guy for a few, for, for another seven years. <laughs> Wait in the corner. The most yeah. dangerous court. Yeah. Yeah. How many seasons do you think a player like Curry can play? More than 20? I would slow down. I mean, I said he wasn't an injury concern. I didn't say he was LeBron. <laughs> like, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> How many seasons is he on? <laughs> I mean, we all want to be optimistic, but we're not on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Make a bit. Wow. <laughs> Twelve. Only twelve. So this is thirteen season. And is is it thirty three or thirty four? Thirty three, I think. See, Steph is thirty three. Yeah. Oh, nine. He won't go to forty. Nine. No, I, I don't think he's gonna make forty. Mm-mm. Plus, when you've made a billion, yeah. when you've made a billion dollars in salary, I don't know if you need to go to forty. Yeah, yeah. And then you come, from, you come from money and you make a billion dollars. So, like, yeah. <laughs> true, true story. Yeah. I, I, think, I, think, I think he ends up playing, playing until 37. Yeah. Yeah. 37, 38. Yeah, I would say four or five more. Than that. Maybe. Mm. I win. I win. Right. Any closing thoughts, gentlemen? Closing thoughts, something you you smack to just say before we go? I watched your bra AC grip last night. And that bra got six steals. Six steals in a day. He, that, man. He's, he's, a a a he's like a match. He's like a match. A just whole game. game. No. <laughs> See, you're becoming like them now. Don't be that guy. Don't get sucked in, Kirk. I'm trying. You're a nice person. Stay focused. Hey, stay focused. But I wait. Mean, like, nice we, we're just not even looking. <laughs> free throws. Free throws. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure what you're gonna edit. Just, just Owen's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I must say, I watched that Dallas game. Was it against Chicago? I think it was against yeah, Chicago. Dallas, Chicago, yeah. I don't think it was okay. that game. It was one of the recent um, Mavs games. And Luca is really fun to watch yeah. when, when he's locked in. Mm. Ebra, I mean, as slow as he is, mm. he can create space for himself so easily. Mm. Yes, yes. Yeah. it's like it's it's something else. That clip, did you, did you check that clip that uh, that I sent you? He tries, he goes behind the back, and he throws an alley oop. I'm like, go but, check, go but, check <laughs> our our Facebook page. I posted the video. Why? 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 Do you see what? He, post, he posted a video on our Facebook page. Oh. NBA essay? Yeah. I, I cut just that clip. Yeah. It's a mouth. 
but I have to I have to layer it with different music for music rights and commentary and whatever. Otherwise, yeah. if I post yeah. it as is, uh, the NBA will pick it up, whatever, and they'll they'll yeah. cut it off. Yeah. yeah. So if I layer music over it, it kind of okay. hides the clip. Maybe just maybe just two two things on 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 that, and and I'm gonna I'm first gonna go a closing thought, and I'll, I'll just like to say how how heavily disappointed I am, right? As much as I am biased. Right, the fact that Chicago gets so much airtime, right, and they one game better than Dallas is an absolute thing for us. Right? <laughs> where, where's our Dallas bit? Hey, right? where's our case of bit? <laughs> but I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that be for now. I'm gonna leave that be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be the mature person. I'm gonna walk away, and then actually, I'm just gonna come back to Kirk's point. Just the, the couple of things that are interesting about Luca. He enjoys playing, and I think. Yeah. That's always nice to see when somebody enjoys it. Like when he makes a crazy shot, he doesn't try and act cool, right? He's smiling and laughing and joking and he's carrying on. And the thing that, that makes me feel nice as somebody who enjoys the team or supports the team is that the players like, the, the players clearly enjoy when he does well. Yeah. There have been many teams where you see a superstar or the guy, right? He's a, he's a mad shot, right? And yeah, people like sort of high five and okay, cool, it's that guy. Or they leave him to go and celebrate and go and do his dumb. But actually, that team seems to be a team together and enjoying each other's success. Even all the the the, the early bad publicity be, uh, around KP and, and Luca. Actually, if you watch them interact in games, right, it looks very out. It looks it looks as good as it as, as as I've ever seen it. And that's and and I suppose I'm hoping for the best there. I am. I, I'm, I love the fact that KP is back. Right. That uh, uh, last week I said, listen, can you just play? Please just play. <laughs> <laughs> One step at a time. He's drinking. He's drinking. Mm. I, I don't mean to rain on your parade, but of what I've seen of their interactions, I don't see anything that indicates friendship. I do see they, it looks like they are okay with each other. I mean, they, how do you say? Take, look, they are constructive colleagues, right? Take, ah, look, take, ah, take, yeah, take, yeah, a look, yeah. take a look at the series against the Clippers at the end of last year. That is not constructive colleagues. <laughs> <laughs> you in the playoffs, they were south on the court. Yeah. Right? You know, you, you know when, when when the guy's standing in the corner and they cake you, and you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. That was this. It was it was borderline dysfunctional. Then this looks good. Yeah. yeah. You know this not. This is not Ben Simmons. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That one clip that he has in practice, bouncing around, yeah. the, the, the permi playing over and over and over. But it's the only clip that they've got back with him in the team. Right? It's not that. <laughs> Right. <laughs> and to be fair, I think I actually think that Jason Kidd had, had, had a lot to do with that. Because apparently, he spent a lot of time nurturing whatever each one needed, right, to get them in the right, the right, the right frame of mind. All right. Okay. Yeah. Right. Like he went to both there. I mean, he was he was in Latvia and he was in Slovenia. Right. I think that's he might not be the greatest coach in the world, but hell, at least he's trying the, to to manage the team. Yeah. 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 Check in, Luca. Luca can have anything he wants on the basketball court. I was watching uh, the Bulls game, Bulls Dallas game. They set a double screen at the top, and you watch him. You watch him just choose. He's like, okay, okay, I'll go this way. Guy comes around the screen. It's almost as if he had hours to shoot the ball. He's just like two bounces. Where you? Where you? Nah, okay. And then booms a three like it's a layup. He can just have anything he wants, my bro. You know what, Jan? He makes it look so easy. Last Tuesday, I tried to do the same stuff, and I realized <laughs> I can. If I just come around the screen slow, <laughs> no, I stole the ball. <laughs> I was, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, he's the first person I saw that uses his body to shield the ball in the key. And just yeah. stop and just stand and just keep the bra there and nobody comes to take the ball from him. I think it was because of his pet wall. I was going to say, but... 
<laughs> you know where we get that from? You know, it's Lavinia, you got to protect the pies. You got to protect the pies. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what's funny about what you just said, bruh. I used to think that Owens are bound to eat him or something. You would just, you just hold him. Just like, <laughs> like, <wait, wait. laughs> does he have an oversized wall? Does he? <laughs> <laughs> I've never looked. <laughs> you go look at look at all, and it's just... <laughs> earlier you said you like the hot balls, but now you don't want the wall. <laughs> and look at work with James Harden. Yeah. Yeah. So upcoming games for the weekend. Are we? Are we? Are we? Tonight is something interesting. Um, Heat and Clippers. Remember to check out the uh, Jamal Crawford, Quentin Richardson stream. Um, I think they're doing the Jazz Pacers game. Oh, that might not be so entertaining. They are indeed. Yeah. They are doing the Jazz Pacers game. Yeah. But just have a look at it. Just even if you just watch a few minutes of it, just to get um, Jamal's um, commenting on the game. It's it's so insightful. It's it's really cool. Um, cool. Anyways, that's Miami Clippers tonight. Tomorrow is the game. Chicago Warriors. Oh, Teams, yeah. Lakers. Mm, Mavs, Spurs. Mm. Hawks, Nuggets. I mean, if you enjoy the Mavs, that's going to be a beatdown. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> uh, it's like the Springbok Scotland Wiz. Yeah. Yeah. I would watch Knicks Hornets, uh, not live, but I'd, I'd catch up on that game because that would be an independent game to watch. Um, but Celtics, maybe. Uh, Suns, Grizz. The Suns have turned it around. Eh? The Suns are on a roll. They, they've gotten things together and they're looking, they're looking sharp again. Nothing, um, uh, nothing pulls a team together like a, like a racist <laughs> incident, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's just us against the world. I mean, yeah. Yeah. owner apartheid going on. <laughs> yes, it's amazing that they can fucking still operate in those kind of things. It's so fucking. I mean, what's I the model still... of the story if you're an owner? The model of the story if you're an owner is don't. Get Chris Paul because they're gonna find out about my cuck. Because every, every time they I come to a club and there's a racist owner, he's there. Yeah, he's there. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, he's doing well, keeping the Oaks focused and um, just keeping them on the right track, keeping the basketball, basketball, and the politics, yeah. politics. Yeah. I, no, I think you're exactly, right. exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. Saturday, Saturday's got a cool game, by the way. The the first game of Saturday night. Is uh, heat jazz. Jazz, yeah. Mm. And, and that's going to be a mean, mean. I, th- I think the, I wonder if the modest, the, the, the modest uh, brothers, going to try and pick a fight with Gobe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, there, there you go. That was, that was that for xenophobia? Just walking around trying to eat European <laughs> centers. <laughs> 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 I want to play bumper cars in the, on the court, my bro. Yeah, hold me back. <laughs> Tell me. Having that is nothing. On... What's that? What's that? I was like, every time I saw, everybody unanimously agrees that Jokic had every right to do what he did. So interesting. I, I, I think that that's probably got more to do with Morris's reputation than what Morris actually did. So if Steph Curry had run across him like that, right, the world would have been in arms. But everybody knows, right, that Morris is a doer. Yeah. Yeah? And so because it was him, they were like, cool, he deserves it. Maybe, yeah. Whether he deserved it for that or not, who knows? But he deserved it in life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> from somebody uh, from somebody uh, and, fresh, fresh. and and incidentally I, i think that that's probably good for a if you constantly getting hit like yokejis right yeah. or like in bdis even now and then it's probably useful right to just throw throw an elbow or two right just so that it doesn't become too much yeah yeah that's yeah. why i like having shaq in my team <laughs> you see what he did? I'm surprised you didn't give that brother David Robinson. Do you see what check did to David Robinson when he knocked his chin? Knocked his chin, his knees went out. <laughs> Who is shaking the bully? Tim Duncan. Mm-hmm. Tim Duncan is so he's the yours is be like banker. Banker. <laughs> banker. I hit the banker. <laughs> <laughs> and all and all Allen Iverson's hearing banky <laughs> banky <laughs> and Shaq Shaq is hearing I also eat the banky <laughs> <laughs> eat the banky <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Owens it was good we mm-hmm. have a lot of clips here tonight a lot Mainly of us just randomly laughing. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm going to cut it up into little clips. There's a lot of content here. I'm so... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Peace Dates. out, homies. Lekker. I was thinking, just before we go, before we go, I was thinking, I think the best night for us to record would be like a Monday or Tuesday. Post weekend. Yeah. That... And it always feels like a Thursday, Friday, everything just gets busier and busier and busier. I'm easy. If I, if I think of how my week goes, if I think of how we're always saying like, Fridays, one of us can't make it. Thursdays, Timmy's got meetings. Thursday, I got some stuff that, that's going on. It always feels like the, the closer, the end of the week, we always feel busier. So maybe like a Monday evening, we can talk about the games of the weekend, if monday works for you we get i'm i'm happy to try it and we don't we don't have to do this monday we could maybe give it give it a week and a half and then we we start our first monday in a week cool cool, cool. that works for me um i'm mm. i'm fine to try whatever so i suppose with it's monday or wednesday or tuesday it doesn't matter we just organize things uh, things around it this monday we, we've got a dinner so so can't do this monday like you said right <laughs> But that's only because we got the dinner there because they were like, okay, cool. I coach on Tuesday. This is happening Wednesday. Coach on Wednesday, yeah. Friday. Yeah. yeah but the, <laughs> so not this Monday, the next one. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> cool. We could always do this. We could always have, let's try Monday. If for whatever reason we can't do Monday, it still allows us to try Thursday. Yeah. But just not this Monday. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> as we already said we already yeah. minuted but only, oh, no. but only busy because I, i was working those plans around what i thought was going to be the thursday the thursday or the friday <laughs> yeah. okay. but basically okay. basically any night even a friday night for you i wouldn't want to do it on a friday night but any night from 9 p.m i think it's this is a later time to do it hmm. oh After the family's done, down and out, yeah. Oh. And it gives me a reason to drink midweek. <laughs> I, I left. I left the water over there. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you drink anything? Yeah, my second beer. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, fair, yeah. fair, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Auditing purposes. For auditing. Stocks. Hey? You're drinking up my stocks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just yeah. I, I'm just glad that I've off my issue, my, my problem. <laughs> <laughs> we 
because you keep making bets on games amongst each other and rotate the beers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a, a pool of 24 beers and the pool gets... Draft picks. <laughs> like draft picks. You get my 20, 20 yeah. third round pick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> draft pick. <laughs> I didn't even know that joke. <laughs> yeah. I'm the old day. <laughs> did you watch? Did you watch the the latest Chappelle show? The clips no, I haven't yet. I'm yeah. catching up. I only, I only watch clips. The LGBTQ special. What did you think about it? Yeah, it's Dave Chappelle, man. That's his lane. That's what he's he's gonna love there. That's his lane. His previous ones were funnier, I found. Mm. This, this one, one, this one was like a like a. This is my final say. I'm gonna say it. Uh, this is it's my statement. Yeah. Yeah. And if you if you want to talk to me, I'll be willing to talk, since I, oh, but yeah. on my terms. <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah. That's his lane, man. That's mm. that's his style. That's that is, what I mean, That is the first. <laughs> Even any any stand up of the the lines that I've seen, mm. where you drop something and that you get like mixed reactions, mm. uh, it was it was weird. It was like he didn't have means of rolling in the aisles with his. Uh, it was very like dark. It was very like dark moment. Uh, it was like weird. Uh, Surprising for a bitch about her. But it's because he was making that point, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's like a public speech. Oh, yeah. With jokes. <laughs> with a bad jokes. But yeah, yeah. Is, is that not also... Is it not weird? So, you know, that the later you get, maybe the more serious, maybe, maybe you want to give more of a message or whatever, you right? And, and I'm not saying he was trying to give a message about LGBT. Like, actually, I think that... So, so when George Floyd happened, et cetera, et cetera, mm-hmm. and if you watched... Um, what the hell is it called? It's, it's called something like Seven Minutes or something. It's, a, it's, it's labeled yeah. as a time, right? Yeah. And, 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 and before, something like that, yeah. Like yeah. The time, they held his knee up. Exactly, right? And it was exactly that long, and that's what he titled it. And, and it wasn't funny. He was just delivering a message, right? Yeah. Um, and somewhere in between that and, and his last sort of couple of stands, right? Like sometimes maybe they get mixed because you're going, okay, cool. Now I'm in this mode, I'm delivering a message, but actually I'm trying to be fine. And then, and then when it overlaps, it doesn't land either a message, right? Or it's funny enough. And, and his, his comedy isn't, he, that is his, his lane is shocking, but not dark. Yeah. When somebody crosses that, uh, then, then, it yeah. is, then it is different. Like there's some comedians yeah. that are just dark, like dark, yeah. dark. And then you get people who like that and go there and then it's funny. Yeah. But if you were going yeah. to Chappelle the, and hitting himself and, and yeah. then it's dark, then, then it would be a bit weird. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, like, yeah. Is he trying to be funny or is he trying to be sort uh, of funny? Exactly. <laughs> it's like sticking out at a Chinese restaurant and then actually eating pizza. I mean, pizza is absolutely but nothing. Not, but not where I came from. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 nothing like that. Absolutely nothing like that. <laughs> I was going to say the wrong thing now. I'm st- I stopped myself. <laughs> well done. Well done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're still recording. You don't want hey. to, you still recording. You don't want this to end up on Facebook. Yeah, then. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. And you must apologize again. Me <laughs> <laughs> too. For something I did. For something we did seven years ago. <laughs> Bruh, that shit comes back to you one day when you're gonna host the the Samas. <laughs> Who's gonna? This is what I said, that cock about fucking. <laughs> it got you. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. <laughs>